We must promote uh, good governance, a governance that uh, um, accepts the rights of all equally, women, men, uh, not uh, politics that are ethnically based, and also work towards development because uh, unemployment, poverty sometimes may contribute to insecurity. And then Africa must work together on the African Union to exchange good practices. The Africans must also redefine their identity because Africa has been colonized, they have been divided. So if we continue to manage ourselves uh, without addressing uh, the legacy of those divisionism and uh, regionalism within our own continent, then we may face these challenges of uh, terror, of uh, ethnicism, politics, and so on. So work together, work transparently, work for all the people equally and uh, tackle issues of uh, poverty that continue to impact the lives of uh, African population. That's what we try to do in Rwanda. The theme uh, that we are working on is uh, remember, unite and renew. We don't remember to revenge, we remember to learn lessons and uh, craft policies that will help us not to go back to what happened in 94. Many people are critical of President Kagame's uh, leadership style and, you know, uh, people saying he's an autocratic leader and at times suppress people. How will you respond to such allegations? A country like Rwanda uh, cannot be led by anybody. Uh, the history that occurred in Rwanda required something special, someone special. He has been special. The Rwandans appreciate the way he leads them. He has uh, lifted uh, so many out of poverty. He has returned those who ran away from the country. He has reunited the nation. The nation is uh, moving into prosperity. And that cannot be dealt with in a fashion that we are used to, to see in a very normal country. We say Rwanda is not a normal case. Therefore, uh, he cannot run it uh, in a very normal way. Discipline is very important in, as far as we are concerned. So as we achieve a lot and then as we go, probably things will uh, loosen a bit. But uh, he's doing things in the goodness of the people. He's not someone accumulating wealth and promoting corruption or nepotism. He's someone pushing for um, uh, clean water, pushing for anti-malaria, anti-HIV, women in parliament and uh, things like that. But uh, uh, with a lot of discipline.